What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below, as usual. This one's entitled My Acceptance and Expectations Problem. So, I'm in trouble with a few friends and family. Because... I have a certain mindset, and it, it, it and it really gets under people's skin. I'm of the mindset: if if you if you do good, I'm gonna accept that you do good and expect you to do good. And if you do bad, I'm gonna accept that you do bad. And I'm gonna expect that you do bad. That part of it bothers people because um, I put people in a weird space so they feel, you know, that they can never grow out of um, being a good, a bad person, per se. I'm just using good and bad as, you know, blanket statements. So what I mean by that is... Um, I got in trouble with a friend of mine because I don't know yet, but I might have to have surgery. So I was like, so I'm talking to my friend and, 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 and she's like, well, who's going to help, help you if you have surgery? I'm like me. And, you know, I, I was laughing because I talked to my mother and my mother was like, look, geez, I wish you had a wife or something. And I was laughing. I'm like, well, you know, I'm accustomed to uh, doing things on my own anyways, like, so for me, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me, like, you just like, you know, but part of the, part of the reason I got to the point where I'm at of being accustomed to being, to doing things on my own is because I used to actually, um, ask for help, and, and, and people wouldn't help, and people would say they would help, and then, you know, they're back out, and they wouldn't help. So I don't really ask anymore, right? And there have been the times where people have literally, you know, put me in a bad spot, thrown me under the bus. So I look at it like, you know, when I was younger, I was angry about it. I felt like I had been done wrong, you know. So I just, I, um, how can I say this? I just separated myself from people. Because if I, if I felt like I was going to hurt you on site, there was no reason for me to be around you. But some of the same, some of those people are family and friends. So, you know, they get mad at me and they're like, you know, uh, you need to, you need to open up to people. And I'm like, I am open. It's just certain things I'm not going to ask you, of you. Like, and, they, and they're like, man, you, you know, that was then, this is now new people, new expectations. And I was like, I'm past, ex you know, I've accepted you. Like, if, if, if you're a friend of mine, I accepted your goods and your bads. So if I can accept your goods and expect your goods, I can accept your bads and expect your bads, right? So if it comes to uh, uh, self-preservation, I just look at it like, look, if I got to look out for me, you know, it's me. Like, I don't expect people to, 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 to um, come through for me in, in, a, in, a, in a situation. Now, I do have some friends that, that 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 if it happens they they want they're like man come on now you can't just do that and they you know people take it as a disrespect and for me I don't mean it as a disrespect like I just honestly I just got to that point in life where it's like what do you want from me <laughs> like you know because I because people know that I'll be there for them. But I've learned over the years, just because I'm there for you doesn't mean you're, you're going to be there for me. And uh, I was talking to a young lady, and she got mad because she says, um, you know, um, you don't feel like you're, you, like, you don't feel like somebody would be there if you needed them? And I was like, no. And then she was like, damn, that, that, that tells you what kind of friend you think I am. And I was clowning with her about the conversation with my mother. And this thing, and it just spawned into that. So, you know, so at, at that particular point, it was one of those things where she says, um, you know, 
of what have I done to you? And I really didn't want to get into that because we've had numerous conversations. And I was just like, you know, I know you. I've been knowing you for years. Like, if if I call you, you know, for one, you might not answer. Or you'll call back whenever you feel like you want to call back. If I, ask, if I call you and you pick up and I ask to do something or you to do something, you're going to tell me no for the most part. Or you're going to say something like, um, you know, if it's something that she wants to do, she'll do it. If it's something that she doesn't want to do, she won't do it. Whether I was calling because I needed her to, to, to help or not, right? So I told her, you know, I expect you to say no to stuff. So when I when I call... Or if I call, I don't I have I don't ask you to do anything because for the most part, unless it's something that appeals to what you want to do or something that you brought up in a conversation with me previously that I actually want to do, I expect to get a no. And and we have had this conversation a few times. And I think this time it just got under her skin. Really got under her skin. Because ultimately she tells me, you know, um, what have I done? What do I do now? And I'm like, I don't, you don't do anything now because I'm not going to ask you to do anything now because I don't expect, um, I don't expect you to help. And I don't expect you to, if you say you help, I don't expect you to follow through. But that's not nothing with, that part isn't anything with her personally. It's just how I've grown in life. Like, I don't expect people to do anything and I don't expect it for them to follow through. That's just my history with people. And, you know, some of my friends and family, like I said, they get mad at me because I'm like, like, people will be there for you. And people seem to forget, like, that I have a memory. Like, I got a memory like an elephant. And they think I, and the problem is, for me, they say, I go way back in the day. You know, I, you, I, you know, I crossed you in 76, and you've been holding a grudge since. And I, and I laugh, and I'm like, no. I mean, the pattern still exists to this day. I just, you know, when it happens, I'm not asking, and I'm not, I'm, I'm looking at you continue to do what you have done in the past. That that's why, why I wouldn't ask you to do anything, right? So this is what I expect. If I see you not doing it to me, but you're still doing it to other people, then in my opinion, I'm like, that's pretty much who you are. Like I've accepted that, right? You know, like I got people, I got friends who are, who are very good people. Like most of the people I know are very good people. But they're active in, in other people's lives and they're active in their own endeavors. And I see them go out of their way for people. Like, you know, a good friend of mine talked about this recently where she, she was like, you know, um, different friends. She was like, you know, uh, you have a problem with people loving you. And I was like, nah, I have a problem with people trying to love me when it's convenient for them. But when it's inconvenient, they don't know me. And, and she kind of was thrown off by that. But I talked to another, another good friend of mine about the same conversations. Actually, I had the conversation with them first. It, just, it was just out of the blue with that one. And I was like, yeah, I just don't like being around. Like, I don't trust people who can't be down when it's inconvenient. Like, everybody could be down when when it's when it's good, but when it's inconvenient, people, you know, they move they they move off to the left, right? And my friend was like, yeah, yes, I get it. And, you know, she getting in and for me being alone, and I've known her for maybe whew, for like twenty five years. You know, she she understands me more than some other people, but. A lot of people understand me to a degree. It's just I rub people the wrong way with that, because I can. I for me, I peep the difference of you. You treat people that you're that you really care about with being there for for them when in the good times and the bad times. You treat people that you don't care about that much. Uh, you only show up for the good times and not the bad times. So when I look at people, when I look at my relationship with people, if I feel like you're the type of person who's going to just be there for the good times, I'm not going to, I'm going to expect that from you. And 
if if something bad happens to me, I expect if I'm dealing with you, I'm gonna be on my own. So why would I even, you know, I holler back at you when I bounce back, right? And unfortunately, um, for me, some of the people in my circle and my immediate family and, and, and my close friends really get pissed at that. And and personally, I don't get it. Like, I'm not even going to front. Like, I don't get it. I'm like, you know, and uh, before I go, I say the reason why. One of the reasons, the major reason I don't get it is because it's like uh, forgiveness. People want me to be, be a forgiving person. And I say, I am a forgiving person. But just because I forgave you doesn't mean I got to keep messing with you. Doesn't mean I forgot what you did. So I can forgive a person and wise up and be smart and say, I'm not going to put myself in that position with that person again. So that's that's essentially what I do when I have expectations of people. You know, I got love for you. I accept you for who you are. But I'm not going to put myself in a position to expect something from you that I know you don't you you, won't, you don't give to me. You may give it to somebody else, but you won't give it to me. And even if, and I think, you know, my mother says it puts a wall up because when people want to do stuff, I already shut them down. And I'm like, in my opinion, I'm like, I mean, how is it shut? Is it only shutting down when I shut it down? Or was it being shut down when, you know, I was actually seeing what was up? And if they were down the same way I felt I was down or if they was going to reciprocate in the same way I was given, you know, when I said, eh, I ain't getting nothing out of this, I'm done. I'm not doing that anymore. Then all of a sudden it gets messed up. Man, for me, I'm like, eh, and maybe that's wrong with me. But that's me. So tell me what you think if you had a similar experience. We out.